Hey everybody, it's Jim and welcome back to another lesson of introduction to Corn Shell. Now this is our program for today, last name one dot ksh, and we are going to go over masking out the first name leaving us with a last name or surname. What we are going to do is we are going to have a variable that has a first and a last name, and we are going to mask out the first name. It doesn't matter how long or how short the first name is, we're going to mask it out with just one simple command. So let's review what we did last time. And please note that all this stuff here is commented out, so nothing actually happens. We have our variable var1 and we are assigning to it Dallas and in our next line we have var2 and it gets assigned this what is this it's a dollar sign curly brace curly brace and remember dollar sign means variable substitution inside the curly braces we have var1 pound capital D and what this means is do variable substitution on var1 plop it down right here and remove a leading capital D if you have one so the contents of var1 is Dallas Dallas gets plopped down right there and this says starting from the left if you have a capital D, remove it. We do. So Dallas becomes Alice. A-L-L-A-S. And that gets put right here. And therefore, var2 gets assigned Dallas without the capital D at the beginning. And another way to look at this statement right here is to think Okay, this means dollar sign var1 or dollar sign substitution for var1. This means minus a leading capital D. So dollar sign substitution for var1 minus leading capital D. Dollar sign var1 turns out to be Dallas minus leading capital D is Alice, so that gets assigned to var2. And in another statement, another example, we have var3 is assigned dollar sign var1 minus a leading capital A if it exists. Well, var1 the contents of it is Dallas minus a leading capital A, which Dallas doesn't start with a leading capital A. Therefore, var3 is still Dallas. Now, let's look at a more practical example. Say we have a variable called full name, and full name contains the contents Robin space Williams and then our next line says we have a variable called last name and we are going to assign to it this let's break this down we have doll sign curly brace full name pound asterisk space and this space is very important, close curly brace. Now what does that translate into? Well, this says variable substitution for the variable full name. And this says, starting from the left-hand side, I want you to remove asterisk followed by a space if you have it. Now, what does asterisk do? It matches 
anything or nothing, and then afterward, we have the space. So here's what happens. We take full name, the contents of it, Robin space Williams, and plop it down right here. And then we say, remove anything followed by a space. So we will remove anything followed by a space and including that space. Therefore, remove Robin and the space, leaving us with Williams. So once again, this statement translates into take the contents of full name, Robin space Williams, put them right here, and then remove, starting from the left-hand side, anything followed by a space, including that space. So Robin space is the anything followed by a space that gets removed. So this right here, when this is all said and done, only contains the word Williams, and Williams gets assigned to last name. Notice the patent asterisk space. This says anything or nothing followed by a space. Therefore, it will mask out anything up to and including the first space. And right down here, we just do a print, and we print full name is, and then we print the contents of full name. And I just put in those leading and trailing colons as markers to let you know where the name begins and ends, or the contents of the variable begins and ends. And the next line says last name is, and then we just print out the contents of last name, which hopefully should be Williams and we have the colon in front and back. So running our script, we see that the full name is Robin space Williams and the last name is Williams. When you start using wildcards here, like the asterisk or the question mark, these type of commands become a lot more useful.